MGM Barcelona. We are very happy of being here in front of you. It's been our second Marcon, and a lot has happened since we last met. So we are extremely excited of sharing with you what we have achieved in the past year and what's our direction moving forward. I am David Fai, the general manager of Trader Joe. And I'm Louis, the protocol architect of Trader Joe. And let's start by talking about liquidity book. Um, we were in Barcelona, uh, we were in Smartcon in New York announcing uh, liquidity book last year and uh, it's been one year since we have deployed it. Uh, we are very proud and happy about how uh, things have gone. Uh, we have achieved, thanks to liquidity book, extremely high efficiency to remain a top 10 DEX by volume across all blockchains. Uh, we are deployed on uh, Avalanche, Arbitrum and BNB chain on Avalanche. Uh, we are market leader by volume on Arbitrum. We are a constantly top three DEX by volume and capital efficiency has been our cornerstone and mission uh, since we have deployed the product. Uh, we have achieved over 10 billion uh, cumulative volume uh, since we deployed it last year and uh, we could not be happier uh, for how things have gone. So Liquidity Book is a concentrated liquidity model that allows you to um, concentrate your liquidity. It discretizes the price range over many bins, and each bin has its own price where you can deposit assets in any ratio. When the, the swap is bigger than the bin, the swap will happen in multiple bins, and that's how the price will increase, as each bin has its own price. We added a novel fee mechanism on top of the base fee, the regular base fee of uh, swaps. So it's based on the volatility of the market, which is calculated by the number of bins that are crossed. Um, so the, the idea is to incentivize LP to stay uh, uh, in the pair, even though the market may be volatile, as it will incentivize them more, as they will receive more fees. However, <laughs> the, um, liquid, <laughs> however, the liquidity, uh, concentrated liquidity requires active management, and that can be very complex for some users. So we deployed AutoPools, which is a product where the user simply deposits assets, and we take care of the active management of this liquidity. However, okay. <laughs> the, if a user deposits 10 USDC, it's less value than if he deposited 10 ETH, and he should receive less receipt token than um, if he deposited more. We, we use Chainlink Oracle's price for that to make sure that the um, receipt token is minted according to the value of the deposit and not of the number of the token deposited, as it's a vault with two tokens. Um, we could have we we use Chainlink Oracle price because using the instant price of a pair is manipulable, for example through flash loans, and it's not safe to use. So we use a safer method, which is by using Oracle price fields from Chainlink. Yeah, we use many we use many Chainlink products across our uh, family of pro of products that we offer uh, auto pools. Uh, has been the latest key product that we have deployed, has been key to simplify the mission that we are having in this space to make DeFi easy and accessible for, for the average Joe. And uh, we have been working for a long time on the Trader Joe product, uh, which is the DEX. Uh, and we could not be happier about how the Trader Joe next iteration is going to look like, but we also notice that in the industry there is uh, currently a sector that is uh, catching a lot of attention and uh, besides the decentralized exchange, which is our core uh, product, uh, 
as the Trader Joe, we are today uh, going, to, uh, going to share with you what we believe is going to be the, uh, one of the next phases of uh, on-chain finance. And you have probably heard about how all about the topic uh, for a long time. We, today, we are going to share with you our plans with Banker Joe Pro. Banker Joe V1 was a money market protocol uh, that uh, uses chain link feeds to offer, um, to offer blue chips uh, lending and borrowing. Uh, has been deployed since two years, but Banker Joe Pro is a product dedicated to real world assets and uh, could not be a better time having seen all the speeches and conversations that have happened here at SmartCon to touch on this topic of why we are entering the uh, real world assets space with, uh, with the Joe brand. And we are developers, we like to innovate. When we entered the decentralized finance space, we wanted to make the experience simple for the everyday Joe. And good UI and UX has always been key in, uh, for our narrative and for our mission. Um, there is currently a lot of interest on the real world asset uh, sphere, but most of the conversations are usually very technical. There are a lot of opportunities in this sector to innovate. We want to, uh, we want to offer novel, it, novel iterations of what, uh, what on-chain finance could look like. We are a smart contract developers. Blockchain can be used to unleash the real world asset sector, but uh, the, uh, the difficulties that today is the normal users have to face when they try to enter this space, it's actually full of uh, confusion and uh, full of um, uh, products that are hard to access for the average users. Um, we are here to share what our findings uh, uh, about uh, offering a lending protocol for real world assets have been, what our direction is going to be, and we are in active development of the product, so we are looking forward to be able to share with you more in the future, but let's talk about what today's uh, what today's market looks like. Um, the participants in real world assets uh, are currently needing to be permissioned if they touch assets like treasury bills, which is on everyone's topics. Um, therefore, a uh, protocol needs to implement KYC, KYB, and whitelisting accredited investors that are allowed to touch these assets on the blockchain. On the other side, however, you have retail users that uh, would like to access in a permissionless way uh, yields that are offered by uh, tokenized assets but are, not, uh, are, are actually gated from being able to touch to touch them on chain. And that's why a marketplace that makes demand and offer to meet in a regulatory friendly environment is our focus for what Banker Joe Pro is going to look like. Um, the liquidity of, of these assets, however, is actually very hard to handle and uh, we can uh, uh, share a bit, some ideas of what we think today's solutions are going to look like uh, for, for these type of issues. So the idea of um, lending market for AWA is to allow decentralized user to uh, lend their stable coin for um, real world asset user that will borrow uh, against their AWA and this is made so that the users, the decentralized user, will receive a yield out of the RWAs, like a share of the yield, sorry. 
Um, there is a big problem with that. It's handling the liquidation of those AWAs. For example, if the interests are too high or if the AWA drops in price for any reasons. And this needs to be handled by a liquidator that has to be authorized to use the, the AWAs. As David explained, it needs to be KYC and whitelisted. Uh, this, this, this is also an issue as there are not enough liquidity on chain to trade the, it can have not enough liquidity on chain to trade uh, the LWA and liquidate the loan. So it can, uh, you may need to go off chain to exchange the LWA for the real world assets, then exchange it to the uh, USD, and then bridge back to the chain to actually liquidate someone, which can be very complicated to do. And that's why it needs to be done by a guarantor or someone authorized. Yeah, we have spent the past months talking to all solution partners in the space. We are talking about key, uh, key participants in the space. Uh, many of them are here directly at Smartcon. Uh, the space is definitely thriving and many participants would like to ha have a marketplace where uh, they can uh, feel that the entire process is taken care of in an aut automatic way and where they can actually meet the demand of these assets of today. The issuers of Treasury bill uh, tokenize uh, assets, for example, today have the difficulty of having to find partners that can, uh, in a lending uh, marketplace, can handle, as we mentioned, um, the fact that when, if a law needs to be liquidated, one of their partners or a uh, or, uh, liquidity uh, uh, authorized participant has to liquidate the position of the user, as we mentioned, and then uh, look for liquidity in a marketplace. This liquidity has to be often whitelisted and it's limited in size, And but the space is so going to grow and thrive in the next, uh, we think, months as uh, the, this is the time where, um, where real world assets are really going to have their chance. It is not the first time that uh, tokenized assets are talked about in finance. One of the big differences is why is it different this time? And besides market conditions uh, like uh, high interest rates offered by assets uh, like treasury bills, which are going to be a key product that will be offered, uh, um, that, that will be part of the Banker Joe Pro line, um, we are certain that, uh, that tokenized assets are beyond what, what's currently talked about. Um, the all around SmartCon, you have heard possible implications and technology is really now catching up to allow these assets to be traded in an efficient way. We are talking about the need of verifying the reserve of the underlying tokenized assets uh, with protocols like proof of reserve. We are talking about verifying the actual, um, the actual interest rate supposed to be earned by uh, long-term or short-term uh, um, treasury bills which have different numbers and you need to be able to track these numbers in real time. And we are very happy of being able to participate in this sector and to release this product pretty soon. So we thank you very much for listening to us and we are looking forward uh, to, uh, to have you try our new products. Uh, thank you for listening.